Judge with Justice Once upon a time, there was a thief who lived in Mecca. She used to steal people's jewelry. Sometimes she would say that she would only borrow items, but then never returned the items. After the Mecca victory, Muhammad وسلم, was still in town. At that time, one day, she went out at night and met a camp of travelers. She secretly took one of their bags, but the travelers caught her red-handed and tied her up. In the morning, they brought her to Prophet Muhammad After hearing the witnesses, the Prophet ordered them to punish her for her crime. Because in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders to give a very hard punishment to thieves. But she was from a very respected family. Some Quraysh leaders became very worried for her. They requested Prophet Muhammad وسلم, to remove her punishment, but he said no to them. Then they went to his beloved adopted grandson, Usama radiallahu ta'ala anhu, who was very young at that time. At first, he denied them, but later, when the Quraysh leaders requested very strongly, then he agreed to tell Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. After hearing him, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's face changed with anger. He asked Usama radiallahu ta'ala anhu if he was requesting to break Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's law. The Prophet said that even if his daughter did any crime, they would also get the punishment. Usama radiallahu ta'ala anhu realized his mistake and became very sorry. In the evening time, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa came to the people and told them that many nations were destroyed because of their injustice. If someone was from a respected family, they would not get the right punishment. But the weak and poor people who did any small crime used to get very harsh punishments. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never likes any kind of injustice. And we should always follow the Quran for all kinds of judgment. This story reminds us of Surah Ma'idah verse 42 where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that if we judge, we must judge with justice for all. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those who do justice. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to do justice for everyone in every single situation. Ameen. This was the end of our story for today. Make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe to our channel so you and many more people can get Islamic reminders so that we can become better Muslims and please our Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And until next time, Assalamu alaikum. Join us in this great dawah work and get countless of rewards during the month of Ramadan by giving a one-time donation or becoming a monthly supporter. And inshallah, Allah will give you the highest reward to you and your family in this world and the hereafter. Zazakallah, and we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that all of you are safe during this time. And until next time, Assalamu alaikum.